What's up guys, so I should go ahead and probably mention it already, I've uploaded three videos at once today, including this one, and I did that because I haven't posted a video in like five days, so I feel like you guys deserved it. I'm really sorry I haven't posted any videos for a few days, the IRL has just been keeping me pretty busy lately, and I didn't really have the chance and time to edit the way I normally do until last night. So I worked all night to make these videos for you guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed them, and I figured the last one I'd do for today, being this video, would be a facts video. So let's get the countdown started. Number 10. Back in 2004 and early 2005, the bottom part of robes in RuneScape used to be a little bit bigger and made your player look a little bit fat, actually. <laughs> it wasn't until later on that the bottom robes appear as they do now, sort of forming their shapes to match the positions of our legs. Number 9. There may be a few of you out there that don't actually know this yet, but Xanarus is actually Gilinor's moon. That's right, here's a picture of Gilinor on the left and Xanarus on the right in what appears to be space. Number 8. Back in 2001 when RuneScape Classic was released, since there was no report abuse button at that time, a system message would actually pop up instead and say so and so player was banned or muted. In this case it was Slim Jim's time. <laughs> Number 7. Back in the olden days of RuneScape, tinderboxes actually used to be white instead of grey. I wonder why Jagex ended up changing their color. Number 6. So I thought this was pretty interesting. This is actually one of Zezma's pictures. I took it off this guy's photo bucket account and the description of it was basically that him and Zezma used to be friends a long time ago and that Zezma actually sent this picture to him once and he has had it saved ever since. I thought this was awesome. Number 5. This is how yew trees and yew ents looked a long time ago in RuneScape. That's quite a bit different than how today's look. Here's another picture of one of the old yew trees and once again, it's also another one of Zezma's pictures. Number 4. When the RuneScape 2 beta first released, the only option on other players during this time were only the follow and the trade option. The walk here option didn't even have players names next to the option itself yet. Number 3. In your inventory, plate bodies actually used to have gloves attached to them at one point in time. However, whenever you actually wore one, your player wasn't wearing gloves. Number 2. Chain bodies actually used to have shoulder blades on them, guys, but I think just like number three, if you were actually to wear it, you wouldn't actually see the shoulder blade extensions on your player either. Number one. Okay, check this out. Apparently, in the very early versions of RuneScape, you could design your player model to look like this? A demon? I don't remember this. Is this real? Does anybody else remember this? <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, and before this video ends, I'd like to give a massive thanks to these few people. They recently donated to our channel, and obviously that really helps me out a lot right now. So thank you so much, each and every one of you who have donated. You have no idea how much you've helped me. Also, if you haven't donated, don't worry, because you still help me out a lot by simply just watching my videos anyway. So thank you guys for always being so cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the three videos that I put out today, since I haven't put any others out for a while. Um, also, maybe for 30,000 subscribers, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A because I think it's been a while since you guys have actually gotten to ask me questions that aren't really related to RuneScape. Or maybe some questions that are re related to RuneScape, depending on what you actually want to ask me. But, um, yeah, I think on this video only, um, to plan for the Q&A, you guys can ask me whatever you want on this video. And I'll save some of your questions for the q and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, but definitely give me some feedback on some of these photos that you've seen in this video, suggest what I should count down next, and as always, I will talk to you guys later.